537, Canadian women kicking some serious mm. butt down there, Don. No kidding, yeah. no kidding. Thank you so much. Again, go Canada, go. Uh, 537 right now. Let's take a look at our weather. Didn't end up seeing a ton of rain yesterday. I mean, yesterday there was about a 60% chance of showers, and we did see spotty showers here and there. We are now seeing some moisture fall, but we do have good news in the long range forecast. Uh, parts of the Fraser Valley still dry at this point in Metro Vancouver. We are looking at late rain showers reported out at the airport. Uh, we're still going to be below seasonal, so 22 is what's normal. We're not expected to get any of that record rainfall, but again, days shorter and shorter. Uh, 556 is when the sun is up, so not too long from now, setting at 840. Not that we're really expecting uh, much in the way of sunshine today. We still have this system that has to track before we start to see again some clearing in behind that. So in the meantime, we will leave in that 60% chance of showers throughout the day. Uh, here's what we're looking at in the forecast. The big play, the big concern to note is Toronto looking at uh, an extreme heat warning and looking at uh, it feeling closer to 44. So it's it's not very pleasant there at all. Sunny. Uh, we're looking at thunder showers. We have a thunderstorm warning in Edmonton. So again, some areas of concern if you're traveling, just to keep in mind, here's what we're looking at for current conditions. So yes, moisture reported at this point and we'll leave in that chance of showers throughout the day, though drying out into the overnight period as we move ahead to the Fraser Valley. Uh, again, most areas dry for now, but you also will see about a 60% chance of showers throughout the day, 14 degrees for overnight lows. On the island, rain's falling as we speak, continuing to see windy conditions near Wanda Fuca Strait, daytime highs of 19 degrees, and uh, well, look at that, a little bit of uh, clearing in Seashelt. Otherwise, we're looking at showers in Whistler, and that will be the case as well for the Sunshine Coast with a 40% chance of showers. Uh, after that, we're into the clear, and keep in mind, Kyle, that once we hit, uh, well, really Thursday right through Saturday into Sunday, we're seeing um, daytime highs inland closer to 30 degrees. Should be beautiful again for white caps and lions. And through Monday, looking at sunny skies in 22. It's seasonal. Oh, but look how dark it is behind you I this know. time of day. Hello, winter. It's already <laughs> starting, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Don. Let's get through summer.